some athleticism. Our backcourt, um, when you slap up against the likes of uh, Oklahoma, you certainly have to have those. Uh, combo one-two guard that is uh, an over-the-rim, uh, up-tempo, um, athletic defender. Um, uh, Crowder gives us, you know, a small forward that has got uh, certainly strength, um, almost a, you know, Ron Artest type of body that uh, has got a nice little mid-range jumper, um, uh, locker room leader, big time integrity uh, person, and then James is a um, uh, terrific uh, shot blocker, rebounder, that will give us some nice punch in the front line. Questions? Fire. Well, I guess uh, trading down, I mean, it's funny having a guy that you guys and I, for a while now, there's a lot of talk. If, 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 rotation player at 17, back down. So you got, you got yes, down. Cunningham was in the mix uh, at 17 in that area. Um, we felt we felt there was a good likelihood that he would be there based on player uh, teams below us and the need. Um, draft for needs and so we rolled the bones a little bit he was there uh, so we're really excited about that and to pick up two second round uh, picks to boot um, that really are two guys that can come right in and uh, fight for a, a position you know Crowder if you you know look at what he did at Marquette this this year player of the year uh, in the Big East um, a guy that's got um, experience uh, you know he's got package offensively and defensively um, and the leadership as I mentioned and then James is uh, is really interesting he's one of the best shot blockers in this draft uh, shot blocking is at a premium um, and a guy that's uh, got a lot of maturity and um, is a um, I guess a soldier literally <laughs> At what point in the process did coming out of this thing with numerous picks become a good idea and where you wanted to go? Yeah, no, we know it was a possibility going in. Um, this was one of the deals that we had uh, in place before the draft. Um, uh, it played itself out. We had an opportunity, as you know, we've got quite a few uh, open roster spots uh, on this team. And so uh, we we're looking for uh, potentially, you know, filling multiple positions. You know, with an eye on folks that could come right in uh, right away and uh, give us some help, and uh, we got that. We got that in the backcourt. We got that, you know, the small small forward spot. We got that uh, at the four or five position. So it was a really, really uh, exceptional draft for us. Donnie, how are you positioned cap wise right now to be aggressive in free agency? Yes, um, that was also part of it where we were able to get off of a little bit of money. Uh, with uh, Clayton has just done a terrific job for us and a um, terrific young man. Um, he'll be playing for Cleveland next year, but he's, um, uh, we had to clear some room in order to become a little bit more flexible uh, in free agency uh, coming, coming uh, Saturday night. Uh, so this also allowed us uh, to do that. Coming into the draft, how was that? Is that one of your goals coming in? Perhaps you know, get some more cap flexibility, or were you more focused on getting the player you wanted, and then if the opportunity presented itself, you take advantage? Yes, it was all about the players first. Uh, the cap room was, was an extra added benefit um, that presented it, uh, itself uh, at the right time, and um, it was um, uh, it was a welcome last-minute negotiation. Was the plan all along to make these trades? Or the something that came up during the draft. Well, this was this was a deal that was uh, set in place before the draft. It was a contingent deal, and so when the pick came down to it and uh, the terms were right, we executed. What would you do with the Odom pick, the pick? pick? Uh, yeah, that one I can't even comment on because we don't actually own it yet. <laughs> <laughs> That deal, uh, yes. it's official now. it is official. Okay. Are we sure about that? Okay. Man, these guys are good. Um, uh, yes. Yeah, so we had a couple picks, uh, you know, in the second round that we were able to uh, get a little bit more flexibility. 
uh, for free agency this summer, so uh, we took advantage of that. Is the plan to keep all three of these guys around, or could there be more room in the building before? Yes, these guys, these guys will be on our, our, our roster, and uh, you know, again, we got a little, little of everything. We got a little backcourt um, help. We got uh, you know, small forward help, and uh, some help in our front line. So yeah, we're looking forward to these guys being in half uniforms for the summer league and beyond. How much of a possibility was it to possibly then move again from the 20 point spot, maybe even back farther out of the first round? There were some scenarios that that presented themselves, but we really liked uh, the player 24. You know, we, he was a guy that we felt uh, we we would have taken even as high as 17. Uh, and the fact that you know, he was still available there at 24 uh, with you know, some due diligence from our crack staff up there that pretty much had every pick pegged, um, we uh, were able to get the same player at, at 24, which was nice. Rick, Rick said it, it's a time of change. Is it a good thing that you have potentially three rookies that will wear your uniform this season? It's an exciting thing. You know, we haven't had this uh, for a while, and to have three guys come in, um, again, different positions, you know, point guard two, small forward, and front line, it's, uh, it's a really neat time. It's going to be a really exciting summer league for us. Uh, we're looking forward to getting these guys to Dallas as soon as possible, and uh, Rick, is, Rick is fired up about getting them down to the practice court, get, uh, practice court and getting cracking. Thank you all. Have a good night. Well, thanks, everybody.